I know you're creating lots of content and I love that. What What's either working or excites you or has gotten some good results or feedback uh, as you're putting this out? Yeah, you know, I would say that the best result we've had is really from newsletters that we do. We do two newsletters, one to our partners um, and then one to our prospects and current customers. And it always includes the latest things that we've written or podcast webinars that we've been a part of. So it's an easy way to keep connecting. And, you know, we try to just have a once monthly touch base with our partners and our prospects through our, our newsletters. And really in, in that they can see everything that they may have missed if they missed the podcast or the webinar or the recent blog that went onto our website. So we, we find that's a great way for engagement. And it's something that we can track who's opening it, you know, if they're reading it, did they, do they click? Cause we're using a, a CRM system to, to help us with that. So, um, newsletters work. And I would say all the things that we're doing, right. The, the podcasts, the webinars, the blogs are important. Otherwise you don't have anything to fill into your newsletter. So you, you have to be doing all of those things. The thing that I would also say that I think uh, is really working for us as a company is our engagement with uh, associations where our customers are, you know, and, and when I say engage, I don't mean just be a member of the association. I, you know, I sit on the board of um, some of the activities that happen at the associations that we're a part of. We frequently will speak if asked so that, uh, you know, we get to engage right there. We attend conferences, typically the learning conferences. So we're right there seated side by side with our customers, understanding their pain points and thinking about how we might solve for some of those pain points in the software that we offer. But we get to be among them. We get to have conversations with them. So we're very active. Uh, and I think that's key because presence um, is, is one thing, but then to listen to the things and, and be able to ask the questions directly to the audience you're, you're trying to engage with in a business fashion uh, is really important. So I think um, I would say the more we can do in that area, and that requires time uh, and a commitment, but the more we can do in that area, the better our products and services become. Yeah, that's that's really interesting. And and I love how much thought you're putting into content marketing, right? Through newsletters and podcasts and webinar, you know, all of that. Because um, I've talked with a lot of companies who are like, Jeff, we don't have time or how do we make the time or what? So how how do you balance that, you know, that work with paid work or, you know, yes. whatever? Because it is a, a juggling act of, you know, it's like, you know, it's important, but yet there's so many other things to do in a business. Yeah, it has to become a strategic goal. Yeah, you know, because then it, you'll measure against it. You know, we have specific goals on how many uh, news articles we're going to publish to industrial, uh, you know, digital outlets. We have goals on how many posts we're going to put on LinkedIn. We have goals on how much traffic we want to drive to our website. We have goals on how much content we put out each month. So, and we have six uh, imperatives that we're focused on for the year, and our marketing strategy is one of them, and we report out on it on a monthly basis. So not only am I reporting to our board, but as a team, we report our, and are accountable to each other. So um, we've made it a key strategy, and when you make it a strategy, you find a way to have the time to get the things done. Um, and you know, like everything, what gets measured gets improved and gets accomplished. So if it's not a strategy, then, uh, this is where a lot of organizations miss out. 